Hi, today I'm going to show you a very easy way to make an object rotate using ActionScript 2.0. If you have any questions or comments on this, please feel free to email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. As always, you can check out the website at www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com. There you'll find some links to good articles about Flash, um, some links to some other good Flash tutorials, websites that I found and use, and of course you can find links and download other tutorials that I have. So, we have an object that we want to rotate in Flash. First of all, I've already created an object just as um, to use for an example. I'll just put that out here on the stage. Um, the next thing we want to do is to create a layer for our actions. So I'll double click on that and type the action. We can put our action script there. So say I want this to slowly or quickly rotate on my stage. And I don't want to go through frame by frame and turn the object because that um, can waste a lot of frames and a lot of time doing those kind of things, especially with something you can easily do with action script. First thing we need to do is create uh, turn this object into a movie clip. And we're going to press F8. Make sure our movie clip is selected. Press OK. In our properties panel, we're going to set this an instance name. Now it doesn't matter what you set it as an instance name as long as you remember it when you're going back to your action script. So we're going to just call it rotate underscore MC. The underscore MC is just a suffix um, that is put on that you can get some code hints and MC stands for movie clip. Not necessary but it helps out on when you get to the action script side. One important thing to understand before we're getting into this is that when we rotate it, flash act the action script is going to base it off its, that um, the cross within the movie clip. And so making sure that that center is key. Um, if something happens where it's not center, one common problem is, is when you created the movie clip, it gives you the option of where to place that point. And sometimes it's defaulted up to the upper left. Um, just make sure that it's on the center when you create the movie clip. And you can change that once it's inside. If, once you're inside your movie clip, you can actually change the object in relation to that, to that little crosshair. But as long as it's in the center, it should rotate off of from that point. Okay, let's go now to our action script. Find the action script panel by going to Windows Action. First thing we need, we're going to do is write a function of on enter frame. Basically, what the on enter frame does is, as long as that's going, it it's constantly searching as the frame enters we're going to set it to a function. And what that will do, it will be constantly checking um, as the frame is open. And what we're going to do is we're going to first call on our movie clip, rotate underscore MC period underscore rotation. Now a rotation, we can set it to a number. And that number, um, the, the lower you go, the slower the rotation will jump. The higher, of course, is the bigger intervals that the rotation will jump. If we just set that as equal to 5 and tested our movie by pressing Apple or Control Enter, you see at the beginning of the frame, it jumped. If we say if we want to set that to 25, it's a bigger jump. So that only rotated it once. What we need to do is set this to plus equal to, let's say, 5. And so what that'll do is that basically the function will loop. And at each time, it'll add 
five. And so what you get is it's adding five each time to the rotation of your object, giving it a very smooth, very clean rotation using very, very basic ActionScript 2.0. So that's the tutorial on how to rotate an object um, using ActionScript 2.0. You can use this for a number of things. Um, one of the latest projects I've had is that they, a, a corporate logo had a wanted a ball that rotated on the background, so I set it to a gradient and put it to rotate kind of that, that spinning ball to let you know that the computer's working, that kind of thing. And uh, so something very basic and something simple to do with ActionScript 2.0. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com or check out the website at www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com. Thank you.